for tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. My name is Aaron Micklow and I'm here at Crash Fest with Los Fastidios. How are you guys? Yeah, great. <laughs> so, so excited. Our first time in USA. So you can imagine. We can't wait. I can't, we can't wait for the show tonight. And uh, really fantastic. We are here since two days. We are enjoying the festival since yesterday. Amazing. Great bands. Yeah. Great atmosphere. Yeah, and yeah. lovely people. Lovely people. Yeah. <laughs> Our first time in the uh, USA can, couldn't start better than this. Yeah, so can you talk about how it came to be? Because nearly 30 years as a band, 31 yeah. years as a band, you're finally in America, like what the hell took so long? Yeah, yeah, really, really, we are, we are so, 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 so happy. We wanna thank for this, uh, Michael, George, Chris, all the crew organizing this great festival. It's a big, big emotion for us. We met also yesterday a lot of friends from all over USA. Uh, a lot of friends we met also last summer in, uh, in Blackpool. And uh, yeah, a, b the big, a big family, a big family, big punk rock family. Yeah. And uh, really, for us, it's uh, really, really important to be here. And uh, I learned in my life that uh, every, every uh, rich goal is uh, a new starting point. Understand what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and not an edible ones, because really, I think, uh, uh, also today for us is a really important starting point yeah. in USA. It, it was two years. Um, two years ago we booked the show yeah. and it was postponed for COVID two times. Uh, finally we are in the USA. Yeah, great. <laughs> it was a long time we were, we were talking uh, for a show in USA. Yeah. And finally we are here. Yeah, <laughs> it is great because uh, really uh, a lot of people, a lot of friends from uh, USA, from the east to the west coast, wrote us in these uh, in the last weeks, uh, writing that oh, we are waiting for you guys uh, in Portland, uh, looking forward to see your show. So, wow, we are ready now. Today is the day, and so big emotion, big emotion. We are emotion. so excited. Wow, really? <laughs> it is I'm, exciting. I'm like a child. I'm like a child. You know? <laughs> for me, every 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 concert is important. Is important. Uh, is the concert so? And tonight, really special, special event. Our yeah. first time in the US. So. <laughs> So what does it mean to you to be here? I mean, that is a big deal. I, I see it so much from my time spending at Rebellion, all of those bands, they want to come to America and it's hard sometimes with the visas and just to get over here, it's very expensive and everybody wants to come at yeah. least at least play once. And so for you guys, like, what was the process for you to get over here and you know, what does that mean for you? Well, for us, for us uh, it's, uh, it's really great to be here. And uh, uh, yeah, it's not so easy to organize uh, um, a show, a tour in USA, and this is the first time. And uh, we are already talking also with a with a festival promoter for organizer a, um, a tour in 2023. And uh, our first time here, we arrived. We have no no big problems. Also, cast no problems. Except for your but luggage we, getting we, lost. Yeah. Bit, <laughs> we just we just lost our baggages, but yeah. but yesterday arrived. Yeah, yeah, we were <laughs> a little bit afraid two days ago when we arrived, uh, and there were not our luggages. But it was great, yes, because it was, we were delivered directly to the hotel from the airport. So <laughs> great organization. We can say in USA, we go to the organization. Maybe they, they lose their, they can lose their, their, your luggages, but the end uh, delivered directly in the hotel. Right? Yeah, you got it in time. <laughs> your outfits are here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We are so happy. <laughs> yeah, so happy. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday of like, as, as women especially, it's like, yeah, you can go buy something else, but it's like, no, this is the outfit for the show. This yeah. is the show outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, 
Well, let's talk about 31 years as a band. Um, for you, obviously, being the founding member of Los Fastidios, what is it like? What led you to this point? You know, can you talk about the growth of the band and just you know, the challenges you faced over the years. Like, obviously, I've heard you talk in many interviews in our previous interview about fighting racism. And, you know, 31 years as a band, you've seen a lot of cycles of the scenes shifting and things coming and going. Yeah. Uh, I must say, the last the last year is was really important for the band. Mm -hmm. This last year, but uh, all our life was really important. Uh, uh, with that, the great, great memories also from the past. But for us, as I told you before, it's really important uh, today. Today is important uh, because for us, uh, a new uh, starting point. And uh, uh, really, we want to uh, continue this way. For us, it's important to spread out our messages against racism because we think uh, music must unite. And for us, it's important music is strength, music is life, music unites black and white. This is uh, uh, our, our important uh, uh, um, message. message for the people, yeah. And, uh, against racism, against sexism, sexism. against homophobia, yeah. against transphobia. Yeah. Against or any kind of discrimination. Discrimination, discrimination. Yeah. yeah, it's really it's really important. For us, music is fun, first of all, but at the same time it's important to to try to unite the people. Music must unite and not divide. So yeah, we we had we can stay here to talk uh, for hours and hours talking about our story, about our our uh, actions also on on the road uh, in th this uh, long time, uh, 31 years, as uh, we did the big big things. But uh, as I told you, for us, it's important uh, uh, to learn from the past, uh, but to go uh, and to, to, um, to continue for the next future to do better we can. Understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Things like last night, obviously the first night of Crash Fest, you know, there was a pretty bad fight that broke out and that must happen sometimes when you're playing you and with your message that you want people to unite. How do you handle that when you're on stage and you see a fight breaking out like that? I mean, what is your response to that? Do you do you ever stop playing or like, do you tell them like, hey, stop that? Like it is a thing in like the skinhead culture. Like it's like, the fuck is this? Why are people doing this? Yeah, no, but for us, for us, the concert must be a moment of fun. We are really lucky because uh, uh, I don't know if it's because our Los Fastidios playing, but usually when we played with our, mm, I, I cannot remember, couldn't remember about troubles during the concerts. Yeah. And uh, maybe because the Los Fastidios show is a really funny show. People, yeah. have, no, have, have, people have no time to fight. People have, uh, uh, really enjoy the concert, uh, uh, dancing, singing together with us. And yeah. uh, uh, that's what we want tonight. We wanted to see all the people dancing, singing, because uh, for us, music must unite, not divide the troubles. I, I think it's really stupid to cause troubles in the concert because uh, uh, we have to, to fight every day of our life for every <laughs> daily, daily problems. And uh, it's uh, concert uh, is the moment we must have fun. Yeah. Fun, first of all. So. Yeah, your guys shows are always really fun. Like I caught your acoustic set this year at Rebellion and it was really cute how one of one of my friends Bob started the conga line going going through the the venue and everyone was dancing and happy. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. When when for us we are so happy when at the end of the concert we see the people smiling. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, this is also for this reason we 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 try to 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 smi to be uh, to smile on stage because for us it's important of uh, fun. Music music uh, it's not for travel. Music is for, first of all, uh, for having fun. Yeah. That's joy, 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 joy. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> so hopefully we know, tonight, we no fight. We know fights. the devil doesn't like it, but the music is down in our heart. So <laughs> the devil can do nothing. So music belongs to us. For sure. <laughs> So 
I want to talk about the two of you. Obviously, for everyone that doesn't know, the two of you are actually married. Yeah. Yeah. That was very cute. Oh. Finally. Finally. After, <laughs> after, a lovely, after a lovely proposal in uh, at the Blackpool in 2019. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes, yeah, I, I caught it on camera and I I was like, oh my God, he's going to do oh it. Oh my God. And I was like, I screamed and I like cried. And yeah. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> And it was I, so. I also cried a lot. Too. Yeah, <laughs> it was so cute. Do you wanna marry me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, really music, music can do everything. Music can help uh, uh, also to uh, destroy racism, fascism. But at the same time, it's a uh, it's a way also to be more romantic. Uh, understand yeah. what I mean? It was funny because after the proposal, uh, I start to cry. And I didn't answer. Yeah. I didn't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Elisa Enrico say, Elisa, please, could you answer me? <laughs> yeah. And it was all, all, all the audience, all the crowd. Yeah. So I say, hey, guys, she didn't answer. So <laughs> please wait, wait, wait before to celebrate. <laughs> because she didn't answer. And she was. <laughs> oh. I was totally surprised. But you, I, yeah. you too, I remember it was like, oh. Because I'm I'm always a champion for love. I mean, yeah. I, I you know, I will always fight for love and it, I just champion it and promote it of, you know, the world needs more of that. And I just, I love it. I, lo I love love. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was so nice and delightful to see all these big skinheads punks, uh, all the crying. <laughs> Fantastic. Music can do everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, well, fantastic. so when you came off stage and I was like, oh, my God, congratulations. You were like, I'm so surprised. He, he said he never wanted to get married again. So what happened? What the <laughs> fuck happened? I, I realized that Enrico was joking before when every time he told to me, no, Elisa, I don't want married now. We have other things to think. Yeah. We have our other things to do. We are always on <laughs> well, tour. So, so we're busy. We're busy. We have no time. But yeah. at the end, they say, yeah, we are like married because we, we are living together since uh, 2011. So we are, we are a couple since a long time. Yeah. But uh, Elisa was really waiting for uh, the wedding moment. Yeah. And every time we say, oh, Elisa, we are too busy. We can, we, we can talk about a wedding uh, maybe in a few years. Yeah. But also the time when we were on tour, I said the same things. And she was really mm, disappointed. <laughs> She, she you she you was imagine, totally rude with imagine, me. She couldn't imagine <laughs> what uh, uh, was happening uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, few days. in a few days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about your wedding, though, because it was it happened in the pandemic. Yeah. You had a pandemic wedding and it was yeah. beautiful. Yep. Yeah, it was um, uh, our wedding was uh, booked for May 2020, but we postponed it because we were in lockdown. We postponed it for September 2020 and um, with a lot of or restrictions yeah, we but was married and it was fantastic yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was great. um yeah it was a special moment for us yeah. it was it was really cute i saw everything online i was like oh <laughs> like, your little rudy wedding <laughs> it was very cute yeah. it was very cute so i do want to talk about you know the the way you kind of came into the band i was watching another interview and and for you you were a fan first you were a fan, and then how how did this happen? You were there at the shows, and I saw in an interview you talking about how that you were always, at least you were always there in the front singing very passionately. You noticed her. Mm -hmm. How did it develop your love story? Because then then you became the tour manager. Now you're in the band. Yeah. You do everything. And so uh, how I did this unfold? Mm, uh, I, Los Pasillos is my favorite band of ever. Uh, and for me, it's a dream to be on stage with the Los Fastidios. Um, I started to tour with the Los Fastidios uh, 10 years ago, 10 years, yeah. 11 years 10, ago. 11 years ago. Um, before I started with a photographer, mm -hmm. like photographer, and, and then step by step, Day by day. Uh, day by day. <laughs> uh, something merchandise, more. Merchandise. To manager. To manager. And, and to now I am mm. I'm on stage with the band yeah. for half concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and for me, and it's that, really that a really, dream. The, a really special moment of the concert when Elisa yeah. comes on stage. Really. She brings, she brings such a good energy to yeah, your Yeah, energy, sets. energy and smile. <laughs> yes. And smile. And all a beautiful people, smile. All the, <laughs> all the people really <laughs> love, enjoy that moment. Me too, for me. When we start the concert, I'm really waiting for yeah. 
uh, coming mm -hmm. so great. For me, it's, one, it's the best moment of the concert. So the which, which happened first? Your, like, how, like, was it the same time of, like, you guys falling in love as a couple, or was it you were a couple and then you started working, or you started working, and then, like, <laughs> what is the chain of events here? Because I think it's very cute. Like you are, you are too much curious. <laughs> I, I'm very. Well, I, I'm here to ask the questions. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm here to ask the questions, and I I love. You know, I think it's so wonderful when you see couples that can mm -hmm. be partners in so many ways because that really shows how deep your love is for each yeah. other and your yeah. compatibility. Mm -mm. Um, uh, I started. Um, I knew Enrico a lot of years ago yeah. and uh, after some years <laughs> we started our relationship yeah. and uh, from that moment I started to work with the Los Fastidios. Yeah, yeah, because you're touring so much it gives you the opportunity to then mm -hmm. be together to let your relationship grow. Yeah, yeah but uh, now, before, now. Before, to, before our relationship I um, I was a photographer yeah. of the band. You took a lot of uh, images, photos and videos of the band. Yeah, but uh, really, really, Elisa really helped uh, the band, but not only the band, because also with uh, our label, KOB Records, uh, yeah. she is doing a really great job. And uh, and today we are so happy because we are really involved in the music, you know, our life is really into the music. And uh, we have a record label, KOB Records, we have an online shop. A booking agency. A booking agency, the band, so... We are really busy, really and busy. We are really lucky. And yeah, we are really lucky because at the end we we do uh, our job. We, we do what we like, so it's fantastic, it's fantastic. And she really uh, gave a, a new a new uh, a new way for uh, for the band, for everything, also for my life, of course. Yeah. So it's great. It's Every man I needs a thanks. strong woman behind him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but I, think, I think also the band uh, grew up uh, also in the last year, so also thanks to, to Elisa, because uh, really, she, she um, bringing the band uh, really uh, energy, passion, smile, and uh, fantastic. Uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, for me, it's, it's wonderful to have uh, Elisa on stage together with us. Yeah, it is. It is very different because, like I said in our our first interview a few years ago, the first time I ever saw you play was in Hamburg in I want to say like maybe like 2014, and obviously you were you were not in the band yet, yeah. and then yeah. you kind of slowly came in, and I've seen the shift of the band, and it does do something different not only for your energy but just to have that feminine energy come to it as well when it before it was just a bunch of dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So let's talk about your record label, KOB. Mm -hmm. yeah. First of all, what does the name mean? I've always wondered that. I get, I'm on your email list and I'm like, what the hell is KOB? What is it? Cobb? Is it KOB? Is it Cobb? Right. Cobb. 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 Okay. <laughs> I, the, 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 the name born because I, I used, I, when I stayed in uh, Berlin, my first time was the end of the 80s. And uh, I went uh, in, a, um, in a squat called mm -hmm. the KOB. The um, uh, was the acronyms of uh, Knockout Berlin. Okay. And uh, the day I was really uh, was for me was a great experience. I saw them, Oi Poloi, and another band. It was the end of the eighties, uh, and uh, be, oh, oh, eighty nine or ninety. And uh, uh, after that experience, uh, I told I was thinking the day I will open something, I will call it KOB. Yeah. And uh, I, um, I changed I, the name. I opened the shop. In uh, uh, 1996, and uh, I called the shop uh, KOB. And for me, it means uh, contro ogni barriera. It means uh, against all the barriers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love and, that. Uh, yeah. And uh, the shop uh, 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 was open until uh, the, the end of the 2011. 2011. At the end, we closed the shop, but now we work only online. Okay. So you had a f an actual physical store. Physical mm -hmm. store, physical okay. store from night. Uh, since 1996, 
until uh, 2011. Oh, wow. 2011 That's Barona. crazy. Yeah. Uh, we, we did uh, around uh, 160 releases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also this year uh, was released um, three albums. Three albums we released uh, after Los Fastidios uh, album. We released uh, three bands. Le Iene, Skapunk from Italy, really good young band. And uh, Lumpen, their new album, is a street punk band from Cosenza. They played Italy. also at the Rebellion this year. Rebellion the name year. sounds familiar. Lumpen. 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 And, the, uh, the Twins of Oi. Yeah, the Twins of Oi. <laughs> okay. Really, really great band. <laughs> and uh, the guitar player was uh, Los Fastidos guitar player for a few years in the past. Really great band. Lumpen. And we released also an album of uh, FFD, another street punk band from Parma. Unfortunately, the singer passed away one year ago. Mm. Uh, during uh, he was, was recording, finished the recording of the album, he passed away. And uh, we decided with the band to release uh, this album, and uh, also for remembering and like tribute uh, for uh, Mono, the singer of FFD, who passed away uh, one year ago. One year ago. Mm -hmm. Forever with us in our heart. Yeah. So sad. I'm sorry. So sad. So sad. So sad. It's really but sad. But also because FFD was the band. Uh, uh, together with the we split the first Los Fastidios album 1996, Hasta la Baldoria. So really great friend of us. We did a lot of things together, and uh, this year we released uh, the the new album, the last album for the singer, unfortunately. And uh, I really suggest to all the people to listen to this album because they're really great, great, great straight punk album. FFD the name, Lump and the other band, Leyene Ska Punk. <laughs> Awesome. The last three releases of KOB Records. <laughs> So what is the future for your record label hold and what is the future for the band hold? What's coming up? Uh, yeah, with the, band, with the band, we are really, really working a lot also for the, the tour, uh, uh, the next tour, 2023. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of shows and the festival already booked for the next year. Finally, uh, we will be back in Latin America. In Latin America. Oh, exciting. March, in March, uh, we, we come back also in the uh, UK in 2023. And uh, we, we are talking now for organizing a tour in the USA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we hope, finger crossed. And in these weeks, we, uh, we will go in the studio recording yeah. for something new. Yeah, <laughs> something new. We have yeah, new songs, really lovely songs. It's exciting. And, uh, yeah, we are, um, I think we release uh, something in, um, in spring 2023. So it will be another, another great year for Los Fastidios. Yeah. After this uh, uh, really important 2022. Yeah, you guys are always really active. I love that. I love seeing your social media posts. You're very active there. Yeah. And you always have things going on. Very yeah. busy. And we are do-it-yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Band. We are totally to do it yourself a band because, uh, you know, we organize, we, we, uh, we release our album. We organize our, our two by ourselves. So we are really do-it-yourself uh, attitude. Yeah. And with the label, with the label uh, yeah, we, we, we are looking, uh, talking also with other bands for releasing new stuff. Mm -hmm. We are always, always uh, into active. active. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the only way to be. I mean, you know, you can't sit around and wait for somebody else to do it or wait to be chosen by a label, by, you know, whatever. You just just go. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you guys so much for taking Thank the time you. today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And are ready for tonight. Woo! Wow, big emotion, big emotion. Like, I'm like a child, so big emotion, really. Can't wait for tonight's show in, uh, in Portland. Thank you very much Thank you, for, Harry. This, Thank you. for this interview. <laughs> Hi, I'm Enrico. I'm Elisa. From, from Los Fastidios. And you are watching Last Rockers TV. TV.